Well, it's another day. Um, actually, fairly uneventful today. Uh, we did discover that mom very definitely needs to be on oxygen. Um, I got her a pulse oximeter for her finger. And generally, if your, your pulse ox level is at 90 or above, you're doing okay. Um, most of the time, she's writing between 92 and 97. So it's, you know, we're doing pretty good on oxygen. But sometimes she has to go to the bathroom. And so we tried, um, you know, just taking her off oxygen for, a, you know, just a few minutes because the, uh, well, the oxygen concentrator is unwieldy for her. And um, sure enough, she got back, started, started feeling a little dizzy on the way back, um, sat her down, and by the time you know, we took her pulse ox, you know, strapped some oxygen on her, and got, got the pulse ox gone. And she was down below 78. So, yeah. We are definitely, definitely on the oxygen. Uh, it's difficult to figure out how to do... how to do the oxygen properly, because, you know, the, the best solution that I've got so far is to have a really long oxygen hose. And that's cumbersome. It's really, you know, you've got this coiled up hose all over the floor and it's just really, really difficult. Uh, now what I, I did find online is some uh, like oxygen, uh, almost spray bottles that you, you know, you put over your, your face and press a button and you get a shot of oxygen. So I got some of those coming and uh, we're going to try those. <clears throat> so if she wants to go to the bathroom, she can just disconnect, you know, carry one of these with her, walk to the bathroom, have oxygen, come back. We're going to try that, see how it works. Um, the other thing I'd really like to do is to have, a, uh, have an oxygen distribution system. One problem that I can see with that is that right now, hooking her cannula, it's the thing that you wear with the two little prongs up your nose, Wearing that or plugging that in um, takes a lot more force than she can muster. Uh, she can't do that. And I don't know of any connectors. Ideally, it would be something like a, uh, like a magnetic connection. But a magnetic connection is not going to be able to handle the, the pressure of the oxygen. I, think, I don't think there's that much. Um, but it also has to be something that isn't going to deteriorate in oxygen or give off, you know, off gas. Uh, and the material that the oxygen hoses are made of is pretty, and it's, it's, it's pretty specific. It's designed not to deteriorate. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to look around and see if I can find something. For now, I'm getting her this thing. I'm also getting her a small oxygen concentrator, a uh, little portable one. So, you know, she doesn't have to carry around the big oxygen tank if she wants to go somewhere with the walker. Uh, we're going to try it. I mean, the worst that can happen is we fail and we fall back to the what we've got now, which works. Uh, went some grocery shopping today. Went some grocery shopping. Uh, got some grocery. I got some... Well, I got some chicken breast, chicken thighs, some fish, and some pretty decent hamburger. And I'm going to be cooking for mom. Uh, tonight, we had some neighbors come over to visit, and they brought some meatloaf and mashed potatoes. And, ooh, good, good stuff. I did make a salad, but it was a really good dinner because neither one of us had eaten very well today. Um, the roof is apparently, I don't know if it's completely on yet or not, but uh, I have a new roof and I haven't seen it yet. Uh, not going to get to go home this weekend. Might get to go home next weekend. Uh, we talked to somebody here who is a friend of mom's that's stayed here before. And she could stay a couple days, bring her dog, um, Grizzly. <laughs> not that he's not a big dog. <laughs> um, but to have someone stay here for 
you know, a few days while I can go home, do the things I need to do, sign the papers that I need to sign, uh, get the stuff from work that I need to get, pick up the equipment that I need, um, pack up some stuff, you know, hopefully do the things that I need to do around the house to, you know, go away for an extended period of time. I'll be able to go down again once in a while, uh, but it's not going to be often. Um, maybe once a month, maybe less. I don't know. We'll find out. Don't know how long she has left. Um, she does, she's kind of up and down. Uh, there are times when she's completely lucid and, you know, everything is fine. Having conversations with her is great. And then once in a while, she just doop, goes off into something else and having some difficulty following. Uh, and there are other times when she is just not with it at all. That's usually like right after she's woken up. Um, and, you know, she falls asleep. 96 gonna fall asleep but we're doing okay I got her plants in uh, the rest of the plants from out on the porch so that uh, when it does freeze they're not going to die a lot of them were already already gone um, I mean there were six or seven <laughs> six or seven flower pots that were just grass and really tough grass well, it reminds me, I got to bring in the lemongrass from the front. Um, got the papers to the attorney. Uh, he's going to try and look at them this week if he has any time at all. He's at trial this week. They're having a pretty intense week. Um, stopped and saw some people that uh, that I knew. You know, I've known with mom, and you know, kind of broke the bad news to him. But. Uh, yeah, it's kind of neat because everybody that I'm running into loves mom. You know, they just love and respect her, and it's kind of cool to see. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. We have the uh, the hospice folks coming on Friday. Uh, we're gonna talk about the ins and outs and ups and downs of, you know, what home hospice care entails, what they can do, what they can't do, what they will do, what they won't do. Um, and generally laying the groundwork for the inevitable. I haven't had a chance yet to go through any more paperwork. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time with mom. Mom decided that a really good idea would be to give her a whistle you know, the, the kind that you blow, so that if she wants me for anything, she can blow the whistle. This is not something I want to do a lot of. I did find a, um, like a alert pager that she can wear around her neck. She's got a life alert system, but this is one that she can, you know, carry with her, that if she needs me for something, she can hit the button and I will get a, a pager, you know, pager message. You know, it's, it's got a range of like 500 feet, so it's only while I'm here. It's supposed to be a, an Aurora tonight. I was hoping to get a look at it, but it looks like up north there are clouds. So and it's kind of a no-go. I was hoping because it looked really pretty in the pictures. It wasn't clear here last night. Uh, went to Walmart. There's there's no Costco here, but there's a Walmart, and they are completely different experiences. Uh, I always sort of thought the two were a comparison, but they are they're apples and orangutans. Uh, I won't tell you which is which. Uh, but this is a you know it's a 
Walmart super center. So they've got a grocery store and a pharmacy and everything and anything and not a lot of Halloween stuff. I did find this. <laughs> I want to hang this up just everywhere. Uh, so. Anyway, uh, I guess that's all for tonight. Um, it was a pretty uneventful day, all things considered. We're getting to learn what works, what doesn't work, what we can do, what we can't do. Um, I'm cooking and washing the dishes and generally taking care of that stuff. And I'm getting to cook a little bit. And that's, I'm okay with that. Uh, I have, I have a kitchen down here that's, laid out kind of weird. I don't really like the layout, but at the same point, it's a decent sized kitchen. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling with uh, kind of what I'm doing anyway. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. I know that she's going to be deteriorating. You can kind of see it. Um, uh, Don't know how long she has left. It's probably weeks. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, see you guys next time.